Now he's ready to go. So is Marco, and his first is in for a strike fastball. Marco would seem to be averaging right around 90, 91 on that fastball. Again, a year removed, just over a year removed from Tommy John. Now they get one. Swig and a miss. That's a beauty, that off-speed pitch. Question is, is Gonzalez a starter at the next level, or is he a, a reliever of some kind? Flexibility with him. 0-2. Oh, Got him swinging on a high one. So Bethencourt pinch hits and strikeouts. That's four consecutive KOs for Marco. Give him six. Last night, Luke Weaver struck out a Redbird season high. Nine batters and seven-plus innings of work. One-two offering now to Jacob. is a broken bat. Flair back to Gonzalez, and he makes the behind-the-back catch. Wow. That was incredible. A little bit of flair to the two. That was a, a little wrist snap. And then he acts like he hadn't done anything incredible. Cameron Seitzer is doubled. Struck out. He swings and misses. His double was a ball dropped in the lights by right fielder Strasburger. Two batters later, Mason Robbins singled up the middle to drive in the go-ahead run. That's where we sit right now, 2-1 in the sixth. Fastball inside. Count level at one. Seitzer is going to take a pitch low. He's got three infielders now on the right side, so the shift is on. Two to one. The Barons in front of the lookouts in the bottom of the sixth. And the two one pitch outside. So in the fourth inning, Ronald Bueno flied out to the center fielder, Lamont Wade. Nick Basto homered to the left of center field. Sights are the next bat uh, batter. Hit a high fly to right that was dropped in the lights. Wound up with a double. Hunter Jones flied to right, no advancement, but then Mason Robbins singled up the middle. Seitzer scored, and the Barons took and still maintained a 2-1 lead. Count is filled. Here's a 3-2. Swing and a miss, strike three. 